we are multi-streaming. We're multi-streaming tonight to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. This is all for good fun and for, you know, mindfulness. Like I says, I look like the cold, angry boy. Yeah, you know, annoyed. I'm the annoyed boy. I'm an, I'm vehemently annoyed by these questions and how they're worded. And, and learning more about ourselves and, our ch and each other, and we're just trying to be better stewards of this planet, right? Uh, and by the way, I apologize if, if the creator of this test ever watches this. this. Please don't take this personally, but for fuck's sake, Jesus Christ, I want to punch my monitor right now. So, without any further ado here, you know, feel free to offer me your feedback. I, I want to provide the best experience I can possible for all you guys. Oh my god, this is fucking stupid. What do I give a shit about this? Why is this even a live stream? Watch this fucking tool bag take this test. I say let's get right into it. If there's chat coming from Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. It should all be showing up right in that column below me there. What the fuck does that even mean? Guys, you, they're killing me over here. They're killing me with this bullshit. Let's go. Let's get into it. And we're going to see what happens. Take the test. There are two types of tests you can take to determine your AP type. The first test, the advanced test, is a multiple choice test and takes the longest. How do you avoid feeling anxiety? Take the basic test, not the advanced test. You will receive your likely AP types and also your likely Enneagram type and tri-type. Oh my gosh, this thing is like super in-depth. Check out the big brain on bread. We're just going right here. We're going advanced test. I'm gonna have to put a lot more thought into this than I thought I was gonna have to, folks. Uh, I am certain in my immediate willpower. What a shit question. Fucking kill me with this shit. Ay, ay, ay. Now, this is more contrarian bullshit. This is a fucked up question, folks, okay? Are you kidding me? A fucking stupid question. I just trust my emotional reactions to others. I disagree. Somebody is giving me advice on how to be more comfortable. I'm already comfortable. The fuck does that mean? See, these are all I feel, I feel, I feel. What a shit question. Jesus, kill me with that shit. I, I'm getting further annoyed as we go along, folks. These, these are, guys, this test sucks. God, this thing's a piece of shit. I can always engage in it, no matter how it may affect me. Whatever. I guess this, I guess I can always engage, no matter how it may affect me. I don't even fucking know. I protect myself at... What kind of fucking pussy-ass shit is this? God, that's such an open-ended thing. Categorizing what details? Motherfuckers, Jesus. I have the final say. Fuck it. Somebody could make the argument that taking this test is logical analysis, unless the person who made it is logical, right? which I'm leaning towards. I'm going to I'm going to back off this this test creator a little bit here. Which group of ideas do you feel the most erratic in, provoked, and unsure and in, in, that's the same fucking question, isn't it? Holy fucking shit. How many different concepts do you have in one fucking question, asshole? Which group of ideas do you feel the most erratic in? Provoked. I feel fucking provoked right now, motherfucker. Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Which situation do you believe that you could never let happen? Does he look like a bitch? Oh, finally. A direct fucking question. What do I feel the most compelled to quickly resolve and move past? This test. I feel compelled to quickly resolve and move past this fucking stupid test. The correct opinion I must align with? Are you... Kill me, please. Which situation causes you the most confusion, distress, aggression, or inner conflict? 
Ambiguous questions. Is that one of my answers? Please, for the love of Jesus, tell me we're almost done here. And free to be myself. Fucking Jesus. People, I, I can't wait to review this chat to find out what the hell I just went through. I avoid restriction by not doing shit like this. This is about as restrictive of a fucking test as I've ever fucking seen. <sighs> How do you avoid overlooking? By not overlooking? That's your fucking answer you're letting me choose? Okay. <laughs> By viewing all the things that could be true, false, or cause doubt. Oh, duh. By feeling the hidden parts of myself that need exploring. <laughs> How do you avoid unsolved problems? What the fuck, dude? <sighs> By restraining my emotions to make strategic decisions that will resolve the issue. That's not avoiding the fucking unsolved problem. Jesus fucking Christ. By gathering every last piece of information I can find to be used if ever needed. By making myself the most capable and ready to achieve what needs to be done. None of these are avoiding the fucking problem. These are answers on how to solve the problem. What the f Fuck off with the... I'm saying none of the above. Fuck off with your question there, bro. What does being seen at the be as the best have anything to do with accurate or inaccurate? Mother... What does that have anything to do with accuracy or inaccuracy? Being seen as the best. How do you avoid inaccuracy? By gathering as much information as possible to build an entire picture of something. Fucking thank you. But then you throw in the end there to feel aligned with my truth. As if truth is subjective. I mean, come on. My truth. My... Okay, fine. That was a little unfair. Truth can be subjective. I get it. Almost none of the above, but fucking fuck it, right? How do you avoid feeling exposed? By not taking these kinds of tests in front of the whole fucking world. Is that one of my options? How do I avoid feeling unconcerned? Fuck off with this question. How do you avoid feeling unconcerned? My head's gonna fucking explode soon. If you guys weren't here, I would have probably just stopped. I would have told this test to fuck off like 60 questions ago. <sighs> How do you avoid imbalance? By achieving personal... By achieving balance. <laughs> Fucking... Is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? How about just by educating myself? Can that be one of the fucking answers, please? Why do you have to have this fucking... Deepest depths and shit? How do you avoid ignorance? By educating myself. Fuck off. How do you avoid feeling gloomy? <laughs> I'm not even gonna... <laughs> How do you avoid feeling gloomy? I turn on a video game. What the fuck, man? What that second one was my oh, fault. It's a fucking, fucking, the last I wasn't three goddamn games. such like, a I dramatic a little bitch. By being someone who is able to create personal, special relationships with others. By keeping in harmony with others through getting along. Yeah, fuck off. B. How do you avoid rejection? By staying away from others to gather information and avoid overwhelm. Yeah, that's how you avoid rejection, is just stay away from people, right? Um, that might actually be the fucking answer. How do you avoid dependency? By following my destiny of independence and being above mediocrity. Pompous prick. My, by confidently exploring and insisting what makes me separate from others because I am so fucking special, aren't I? How do you avoid unoriginality? Who fucking cares? How do you avoid cowardice? Punch him in the fucking mouth. Oh, wait a second. God, what a waste of an opportunity. How do you avoid hesitation? I'm fucking hesitating right now because this is such a fucking pile of garbage. 
finding the meaning within depth that I must answer to. What the fuck does that? How do you how do you avoid being understrained by avoiding putting my thoughts? Jesus fucking Christ, guy. Fuck off with all those. How do you avoid feeling fear overall? Don't be a bitch. That's how. How do you avoid feeling shame? What's that? Ah, eh, well, fucking fuck it. My in, my scores indicate that I may align with the alley. You're not even fucking sure. All that fucking work and you're not even sure what I am? Dion, how to upset an ISTP. Don't word the test properly. <laughs> Indeed. Did you feel the same way, Dion? Because I know you're an ISTP. How were, how were your feelings? <laughs> feelings. The attitudinal psych type that seems the most interested in how they can envision and construct their reality to gain insight, meaning, and discover a philosophy that provides mental abundance. Word fucking salad. No pattern escapes the mind of an LEVF. God, pad my ego a little bit more. Holy shit. They do well at igniting their own physical needs. And where's the criticisms? Tell me the criticisms. Your name wouldn't be Dick, would it? I don't need to be gassed up here. I need to be told what I'm doing wrong so I can be mindful of it. The LEVF appears to be protecting themselves from those who wish to take advantage of their philosophical nature by keeping their ideas close, resisting pressure, and putting conviction in their own ideas as the be-all, end-all truth of the matter. Yes, I know I'm the fucking know-it-all. You don't have to tell me. Thank you for telling me I'm the know-it-all and reminding me that I'm an asshole. Fucker. LABFs are extremely skeptical towards anyone who defies their identity without asking their opinion. Yeah, don't fucking straw man me, right? Yeah. They prefer to stay surrounded by those who aid in understanding their possible place in the world. Fucking, did you just say that I prefer to be in an echo chamber? There's way more people around here who I disagree with than I agree with, so fuck you with your echo chamber bullshit. Look at these fucking scared bitches up here. Does that look anything like me? This fucking tool over here? <laughs> fuck off with your scared shit. You just fucking t toss over the whole fucking apple cart and, and learn all this new shit? I ain't got time for this shit. Most of the ship is horoscope wording anyway, but you know, this is definitely better than horoscope. Don't, I'm not gonna, you know. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad at the very least uh, that I got to, there was, there was a few new faces in here tonight. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for all your support, as always. I love you all. Thanks for hanging with me this time. I'll see you on the flip side.